planet Earth. Planet Earth. The third planet from the Sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. Planet Earth was formed over 4.5 billion years ago. Within the first billion years of Earth's history, life appeared in the oceans and began to affect Earth's atmosphere and surface, leading to the proliferation of anaerobic and later aerobic organisms. Some geological evidence indicates that life may have arisen as early as 4.1 billion years ago. Since then, the combination of Earth's distance from the Sun, physical properties and geological history have allowed life to evolve and thrive. In the history of life on Earth, biodiversity has gone through long periods of expansion. An asteroid roughly 10 kilometers across, hit the Earth about 65 million years ago. This impact made a huge explosion and a crater about 180 kilometers or roughly 110 miles across. Debris from the explosion was thrown into the atmosphere, severely, altering the climate, and leading to the extinction of roughly three-fourths of species that existed at that time, including the dinosaurs. Anatomically, modern humans arose in Africa about 300,000 years ago, and reached behavioral modernity about 50,000 years ago. Modern humans spread rapidly from Africa into the frost-free zones of Europe and Asia around 60,000 years ago. The Neolithic Revolution beginning around 10,000 BC, saw the development of agriculture, which fundamentally changed the human lifestyle. Farming developed around 10,000 BC in the Middle East, around 7,000 BC, in what is now China, around 6,000 BC in the Indus Valley and Europe, and around 4,000 BC in the Americas. Cultivation of cereal crops and the domestication of animals occurred around 8,500 BC, in the Middle East, where wheat and barley were the first crops and sheep and goats were domesticated. Metalworking, starting with copper around 6000 BC, was first used for tools and ornaments. Gold soon followed, with its main use being for ornaments. The need for metal ores, stimulated trade, as many of the areas of early human settlement were lacking in ores. Bronze, an alloy of copper and tin was first known from around 2500 BC, but did not become widely used until much later. Sumer, located in Mesopotamia, is the first known complex civilization, developing the first city-states in the 4th millennium BC. It was in these cities that the earliest known form of writing, cuneiform script, appeared around 3000 BC. These developments, led to the rise of territorial states and empires. In Mesopotamia, there prevailed a pattern of independent, warring city-states and of a loose hegemony shifting, from one city to another. In Egypt, by contrast, first there was a dual division, into Upper and Lower Egypt, which was shortly followed by unification, of all the valley around 3100 BC, followed by permanent pacification. In Crete, the Minoan civilization had entered the Bronze Age by 2700 BC and is regarded as the first civilization in Europe. Over the following millennia, civilizations developed across the world. Trade increasingly became a source of power as states with access to important resources or controlling important trade routes, rose to dominance in different waves. The Post-Classical Era this era is commonly dated from the 5th century fall of the Western Roman Empire, which fragmented into many separate kingdoms, some of which would later be confederated under the Christian Holy Roman Empire. The Eastern Roman, or Byzantine Empire survived until late in the post-classical, or medieval period. The post-classical period also encompasses the early Muslim conquests, the subsequent, 
Islamic Golden Age, and the commencement and expansion of the Arab slave trade, followed by the Mongol invasions of the Middle East, Central Asia, and Eastern Europe and the founding around 1280 of the Ottoman Empire. In Western Africa, the Mali Empire, and the Songhai Empire rose and developed. On the southeast coast of Africa, Arabic ports were established, where gold spices and other commodities were traded. This allowed Africa to join the Southeast Asia trading system, bringing it contact with Asia. China, experienced the successive dynasties. Middle Eastern trade routes along the Indian Ocean, and the Silk Road through the Gobi Desert, provided limited economic and cultural contact between Asian and European civilizations. During the same period, civilizations in the Americas, such as the Inca, Maya, and Aztecs reached their zenith. All would be compromised by then conquered, after contact with European colonists at the beginning of the modern period. The Early Modern Period The defining features of the modern era developed predominantly in Europe, and so different periodizations are sometimes applied to other parts of the world. When the European periods are used globally, this is often in the context of contact with European culture in the Age of Discovery. Mid of the modern period era, new empires rose up, colonizing and conquering the world. Industrial Revolution, Modern Invention, The New Era of Trade Routes and Early Modern World Trade The early modern period. The defining features of the modern era developed predominantly in Europe, and so different periodizations are sometimes applied to other parts of the world. When the European periods are used globally, this is often in the context of contact with European culture in the age of discovery. Mid of the modern period era, new empires rose up, colonizing and conquering the world. Industrial Revolution, Modern Invention, The New Era of Trade Routes and Early Modern World Trade The 20th century was dominated by a chain of events that heralded significant changes in world history as to redefine the era. Spanish Flu Pandemic World War I and World War II, nuclear weapons, nuclear power and space exploration, nationalism and decolonization, the Cold War and post-Cold War conflicts, intergovernmental organizations and cultural homogenization through developments in emerging transportation and communications technology, poverty reduction and world population growth, awareness of environmental degradation ecological extinction and the birth of the digital revolution, enabled by the wide adoption of MOS transistors and integrated circuits. It saw great advances in power generation, communication and medical technology that by the late 1980s allowed for near instantaneous worldwide computer communication and genetic modification of life. The beginning of the 21st century, has been marked by the rise of a global economy and third world consumerism, deepening global concern over terrorism and an increase in private enterprise. Effects of global warming and rising sea levels have continued, with eight islands disappearing between 2007 and 2014. The Arab Spring of the early 2010s led to mixed outcomes in the Arab world resulting in several civil wars and governments overthrown. The United States has remained a global superpower, while China is now considered as an emerging global superpower. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic spread around the world, causing severe global economic disruption, including the largest global recession since the Great Depression. Earth, our home, is the third planet from the Sun. It's the only planet known to have an atmosphere containing free oxygen, oceans on its surface and, of course, life. We the humans who has knowledge to manage the daily cycle of our planet. We must care of our planet to survive our future. Leaders must act now before it's too late. Superpower nations spend trillions in upgrading their weapons, technology and in search of life outside our planet.
But why do we search life outside? God's gifted us our planet that we must take care of. We cannot eat the technology and weapons in the future, but we must provide a technology that can help us every human survive and can support life on Earth. Studio.